What is the story? What do they tell? The old Rio Grande train station in Salt Lake City It's something that people don't see. is the home of objects that tell Utah's story. Thousands of items ranging from furniture pieces all the way down to delicate documents are stored here in the basement. The basement didn't even exist when they built the station. They dug this out and created these storage rooms when uh, in the 1980s when state history moved in. In 1897, the legislature organized the Utah State Historical Society and gave them a mandate to preserve our past. This is the first state flag of Utah. Uh, done with Utah silk. Early Mormon settlers grew mulberry trees to harvest silk from actual silk worms, so fine textiles like this could be made by people like Agnes Fernelius, a Swedish immigrant. Well, Agnes lives on in this flag. Eagles, which used to embellish the grand staircase of the Utah State Capitol before they were considered offensive, are also stored here. That piece was actually replaced with a different eagle uh, during the First World War because it looked too German. The basement also holds over a million photo negatives, some in tin. We have a tin type there of, of George Dern before he became governor. More in glass. This is a negative uh, of Brigham Young in the Quorum of the Twelve from 1868. The small staff races against time to digitize images in film it will become very brittle and you'll see it crack into these pieces and eventually it's just going to turn into to dust. Film is especially fragile, but everything else here is at risk too. We have water that seeps through the foundation. Um, we can't control the temperature or humidity in, uh, in any of the storage areas. Pipes so. overhead are problematic. You know, we've had water emergencies. The collection could be a complete loss if we were to have a major earthquake. Storage above ground in a newer building would be better. It's been under consideration by the legislature in the state. And it could be built on the lot to the north, where the road home is now, for a projected cost of $18 million. No small amount, but an investment, some say, in protecting an even bigger asset. Would house our historic artifacts as well as our fine arts collection which is uh, has 1.8 million pieces and is valued at more than 125 million dollars. We're really at a, a, a troubling point you know where we've, we've got to come up with solutions and you know and hopefully that new building is, is in our future you know and that's a solution that would go a long way to to helping us preserve these things. Todd Tanner, Fox 13 News, Utah.